We came on foot. We came by air. We came over land and sea, from everywhere. everywhere. We came through snow and heat. We came through conflict and peace. We came from north and south. From west and east. We came alone. And we came together. We came as sisters and as brothers. We brought the youngest and the oldest. Families, neighbors, and friends. We came in tens. We came in hundreds. We, we came, came in thousands. And tens, tens of, of thousands. thousands. We were cold. And we came. Nearly 80,000 participants, including children and young people, from over 170 countries, responded to the call of the Universal House of Justice in October 2008 to participate in one of 41 regional conferences around the world. They came to celebrate the accomplishments of the Baha'i world and to plan for the work that lies ahead. Within the two weeks following the call, the first conference was held in Zambia. Over a period of four months, every weekend at least one conference, but sometimes as many as four took place. to welcome each and every one of you to this historic conference called by the Universal House of Justice at this midpoint of the five-year plan. La conferencia ha estado tan genial, la parte del espíritu que se ha sentido adentro. Jab mi conference attend kiya, kyunki mera ye first time hai conference mein. Jab main yahan pe aaya to dekhta hu ki yahan pe sare dharm ke log, sare jati ke log ek hain. These historic gatherings provided the opportunity for the Baha'is of the world and their friends to come together at the midpoint of the global five-year plan. They shared their impressive achievements in community-building activities, such as devotional gatherings, children's classes, junior youth groups, and study circles. They reflected and consulted upon what had been learned so far and focused on current needs and opportunities. They were inspired to arise with renewed vigor and rededicate themselves, their time and their energy to the service of humanity. It was also a time for celebration.
alguns de vocês viajaram 60 horas de ônibus para estarem aqui. Most of them travel long distances to attend this conference, from a big city to rural town. Je n'avais pas un moyen. J'ai eu le vélo, qui était vraiment un désordre. Some walked for days in intense heat to attend the conference in their region. Others were met by snowstorms. Some from areas of conflict risked their very lives to be there. Others faced the challenge of the unexpected collapse of their country's financial systems. And a few became stranded in a boat in the Caspian Sea. Yet none were deterred. With enkindled hearts and eager souls, they persevered to be there. They gathered in schools and theatres, under tents and around a temple, in parks and halls and universities. Lusaka. Nakuru, Johannesburg, Bangi, Bangalore, Uvira, New Delhi, Quito, Kolkata, Lubumbashi, Antofagasta, Yaoundé, Manila. Chicago, Almaty, Portland, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Stanford, Dallas, Cochin, São Paulo, Kuala Lumpur, Abidjan, London. Toronto, Guadalajara, Ley, Vancouver, Managua, Madrid, Sydney, Ulaanbaatar, Auckland, Pratambong, Frankfurt, Padova. Istanbul, Accra, Baku, Kiev. No matter how humble or elaborate the setting, the spirit, the vision and purpose were one. How could those present, women and men, young and old, arise with fresh determination and intensify their efforts to bring the healing message of Baha'u'llah to humanity. How could they play their part in this mighty spiritual enterprise? To these historic gatherings, the Universal House of Justice sent members of the International Teaching Center as its representatives. Beloved friends, Alawapa, it is my great joy and privilege to be part of this happy gathering of eager and consecrated servants of Baha'u'llah, and to be a witness of the series of magnificent conferences which are setting ablaze the whole world. We are becoming more and more a world-embracing community with a clear mission, objectives, strategies, methods, and instruments to advance the spiritual and material civilization in the light of Baha'u'llah's revelation. We are living a growing community, embracing people of all backgrounds, of all walks of life. 
in which everyone finds their place, everyone finds the space for service. We are becoming more and more a community in the learning mode, constantly acting systematically, reflecting, consulting, and trying to walk the path of service with a humble posture of learning in the process of building a new civilization. These conferences provide for us a unique opportunity to reflect on our learning and to re-clarify for ourselves some of the key concepts that constitute the bedrock of the current stage in the divine plan. Each of the conferences provided the participants with a unique forum to share their experiences of what they have learned so far. Numerous accounts were shared about the transforming power of the community building processes in which the worldwide Baha'i community is engaged. As I left for university, I met my first Baha'i. This friend, in fact, began a book one study circle in, in the very house that we shared with a few friends and invited me to join, but I said no. So shortly after university, this same friend and I traveled to Central America and we served there for six months together. And it was here uh, that one of the volunteers invited me to begin a book one and this time I accepted the invitation. Um, I did do a lot of debating with myself before, um, whether I should or shouldn't, what it would mean about my faith. I went through a whole process, but, but thought, well, why not? Here I am. And from this moment onwards, when I started book one, my life changed. I realized how beautiful the writings were. I began also to start feeling that there was something really captivating about Baha'u'llah. Very late in the evening, after we'd been talking more and more, I, I whispered to my friend that I was a Baha'i. Um, and it was, it was the happiest and also the scariest moment of my life. So soon after I returned home, I began the second book in the sequence and then was offered the opportunity to do book five. And I was so excited as I, I really wanted to put into practice my, my experience with young people. So last summer we had our first junior youth outreach project and then promptly began a junior youth group. Uh, I co-animated this group and just last month we finished Breezes of Confirmation. I was going through book one and I was saying, this seems so simple. This is so elementary. And then I realized in conversations, a kindly tongue is the lodestone. Oh, yeah. Okay. The betterment of the world through pure and goodly deeds. Wow. You see how it fits in everything. I was very curious about uh, spirituality and didn't know much about it. Book one was the first step to me exploring spirituality. I learned how to pray. This was very hard for me because I, I, do, I didn't understand this habit and I had never prayed before. I learned that prayer is just like uh, talking to someone you love. And if you love someone, then there's nothing that can stop you from talking to that person. Right after I finished my book one, my tutor suggested that uh, I start the devotional, but I had no idea how to host one. They suggested that they could uh, accompany me to invite uh, both friends and the people we didn't know yet. So I hosted uh, my first uh, devotional. Right now, devotional gathering has become a regular activity in my neighborhood. A plan B me go through the slab act of service and through the lab bloom of the howler and by act of service bloom by more fruitful. Long me yet me understand the most time me participate lo rui na me la conducting more study circle because importance and significance long the slab rui study circle alone me inspire me through. We've seen more than 100 people. Мы им представили, что такое институт Рухи. И когда мы, мы делали презентацию, представляли им, какая цель института, и как, как каждая из книг последовательности развивает и может развить их способности, и как они потом могут 
делать вклад в построение новой цивилизации. И очень многие люди откликнулись. Где-то примерно половина из них сказали, что они хотят участвовать. There are some new believers come in, but we really have a hard time to really consolidate them, but we still didn't understand the importance of the home visit. We kind of had an assumption that our Koreans usually feel like they feel really burdened to open up their houses, to invite people to come. So home visit is not a good strategy for Korean community. So two uh, resource people in the cluster mobilized 15 friends of the community, we organized the home visit and we just put it into action right away. The result was really, really positive. Our fear for home visit was preconception and those people who were visited, was, they were feeling so cared for and they, were, they felt loved by us. Já que nossa comunidade era pequena, a gente tinha muito potencial, começamos a ensinar. Em um final de semana, nossa comunidade aumentou em 14 novos barrais. Foi então que a Assembleia Local tomou consciência da prática do livro 2, que é as visitas aos lares. Com tantos barrais, nós precisávamos levar para eles as visitas, os temas das visitas. né? Mas a prática do livro 2 sempre foi uma realidade distante da comunidade, porque nós nunca tivemos alguém para visitar. Sempre a gente simulava, brincava no grupo de estudo, mas nada muito concreto. Mas daí todo mundo começou a se mobilizar para fazer as visitas. E os facilitadores chamavam, mesmo aqueles que já tinham feito o livro 2 há muito tempo, para voltar e fazer as visitas, praticar o que o livro 2 nos ensina. E todos foram recebidos com muito amor por todos aqueles recém-declarados. A gente podia ver que eles tinham ansiedade por saber mais sobre a fé naquele momento. E nós conseguimos, em menos de um mês e meio, realizar a série de visitas com todos os sete adultos da comunidade e envolver praticamente todas as crianças nas aulas barrais. Emir bizden çok şeyler bekliyor ama ben neresindeyim bunun hep kendimi sorguluyordum. Ruhi tazelemelerinden sonra dedim ki ben ne yapabilirim? Önce dua toplantılarından başlayayım. E, dua toplantısı yaptım ve ben e, bunları, e, bu arkadaşlarımda çok büyük değişiklikler gördüm. Duaya geldikçe benden dua kitapları istediler, aldılar, biz evimizde de okuyoruz. Kimisi diyor ben başucuma koydum, sürekli okuyorum. E, tabii bunlar bana çok mutluluk verdi, cesaret verdi. I became Baha'i in September 2005. And it took me two years to go through the sequences of seven books. My wonderful tutor, Sapa, made the classes so enjoyable that I couldn't wait for the next class. At the last day of seven, uh, book seven, Sapa asked me if I want to be a crew toter with her for the book one. I immediately knew that is the time to pay it forward. So I accepted. And we started the book one with the new believers, and now we are on the second book. I told Sahba, I feel like I'm not doing enough. She said, how about you help me through the children class? I told her I have no experience, but she said, don't worry about it, we'll do it together. Every time I mentioned something that I can't do it, she said, don't worry, we'll do it together. And it's been over six months that we are doing children classes together too. I also have my own Ruhi study circle at my place. It was my first time I was doing service by myself without Safa, <laughs> which I called her as soon as the class was over. And as soon as she heard my voice, she said, you did it. And I was very happy. 
di ritorno, di ritorno da una conferenza, questo, questo mio amico, questo ragazzo, eh, mi, mi, ha, mi ha parlato del circolo di studi. Io mh, non avevo ben capito di che cosa si trattava, comunque insomma, mi fidavo molto di, di questo mio amico, allora, allora ho accettato la sua, eh, la sua proposta. Il primo incontro del circolo di studio, questo mio amico eh, cioè, ci si mise a sedere intorno al tavolino e lui tirò fuori un libro di preghiere. E io, un brivido mi scordo con la schiena, io, proprio per capire io non ero assolutamente abituato a pregare, a parlare di spiritualità, di Dio uh, così apertamente. Le sue parole sono state, di solito noi iniziamo la nostra attività con una preghiera, no? e io un po' spaventato, ho detto, oh, va bene, ok, insomma. Allora hanno cominciato a leggere le preghiere e abbiamo iniziato il circolo di studio. Avevo scoperto uh, questa capacità di comunicare con, con Dio che prima non avevo, non avevo mai sentito. Sono andato avanti con il, con il circolo di studio e prima del, del termine ho deciso di dichiararmi. Avevo terminato la, 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 la sequenza dei, de, dei libri e tutte le persone che, avevo, uh, che erano rimaste colpite dalla mia trasformazione mi hanno chiesto verne di più e diciamo con loro ho fatto la pratica del libro 7 ho aperto un, un mio primo circolo di studio che è andato avanti e ha avuto dei, dei risvolti molto belli grazie The Institute Process has also inspired a remarkable surge of artistic expression at the grassroots This was reflected in a variety of moving and uplifting community performances presented at every conference. teaching them the song, We Are Drops. And it was very exciting because two nights later, I see this group of kids go to the laundromat. And I'm thinking, are those my kids? They look like my kids. And then they come out and start yelling at me, We Are Drops of One Ocean. We Are Drops of One Ocean. And I thought, they are. <laughs> they absolutely are. And I started going to this neighborhood i was uncomfortable with the neighborhood, I wasn't familiar with the neighborhood, but as we started serving there, as we started having our children's classes there, 
I understood what it was talking about. Blessed is the spot. So when I got to the Kakori cluster, I got to the कुछ लोग मिले और मुझे बताया कि ऐसे से ये बाहर में कैसे क्या है आया हुआ तो मैं जब रोही वन टू किया और थ्री उसके बाद थ्री में मैं कर रही थी तो कुछ मित्र ने बताया कि ये बहुत अच्छा है उत्साह मुझे दिया और अच्छी तरह से बताया कि किस किस तरह हमें बच्चों को क्लास चलाना चाहिए कैसे कैसे क्या करना चाहिए इस तरह मेरे अंदर भी उत्साह हुआ कि मैं कुछ करूँ और मुझे कुछ भी अनुभव मिले और सीख मिले क्योंकि बच्चों को भी सीख मिले साथ में टीचरों को भी सीख मिलती है सो वी लर्न कम्युनिटी बिल्डिंग डजेंट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ कंट्री और अ सिटी और अ सब बट इट स्टार्ट्स एट द लेवल ऑफ नेबरहुड दिस चिल्ड्रंस क्लास वाज हेल्ड वंस अ वीक बट देयर वाज समथिंग समथिंग वाजंट राइट अबाउट दिस चिल्ड्रंस क्लास सो वी सॉर्ट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टेड एंड देन वी इंश्योर्ड दैट वी वर रनिंग एग्जैक्टली हाउ बुक 3 वाज वाज सेट एंड ऑल द अप्रोचेस सो नॉट ओनली जस्ट the lesson plans but also following the progress of the children and in working with the parents to make sure that we develop the spiritual qualities of these children together we noticed that the nature of our conversation with the parents were changing as well and what's happened is that now all the parents are actively involved and in going around inviting other parents dispelling fears and explaining the nature of the class as well one thing that we experience is as we focus on the quality of the classes the quantity grew what we see now is that these children classes are these centers of attraction it actually has started to change these patterns of of community life my son and my nephew started playing football in front of our house and they had quite a number of friends numbering about 10 so we decided as a response to book 3 to start children classes with their friends we've been running this for 7 years so we actually have junior youth and we have about 15 of these children who have moved from children classes to junior youth we also have had one person who just walked into the house one day and told us oh i've been seeing children coming to your to uh, your house and i want to know what they come to do and he has gone through ruhi book 3 and is now a teacher in the class our learning is um that we can always look at the needs of the neighborhood and then we can offer the service that complies with the needs of the neighborhood we looked at our block of flats because there were many mothers with children and there was this interest we started a children class we were a little bit scared we didn't have any experience with children classes we prepared small invitations and we visited or met mothers that are living in our block of flats We invited them to a meeting where we explained what the children class will be about. Uh we said we would uh, learn prayers with children, we would sing songs, we would learn about qualities, talk about love of God, stories, uh games and so on. And uh, the mothers were very interested in such a program and eight children registered to our children class. When my husband and I um heard that the house of justice has asked us to um set up local children's classes with no uh, training behind us we started um if there was a quality that we clung to it was faith um and trust that we were doing the right thing 5 years later <laughs> and it's all in here um in summary The training institute process has brought us from one centralized children's class of 6 bahais to a class of 4, 5 and 6 year olds, a class of 5, 7 and 8 year olds, a class of 7 junior youth um and study circles uh with 11 community of interest of different religious backgrounds engaged in one or more activities.
I was first introduced to the Baha'i faith by two Baha'i friends, and they told me about the junior youth group that was being started up and said I should come check it out. I was really confused what was happening in the junior youth program. I, was felt, I felt more like a junior youth than a potential animator. At first, I thought that the program would not be as effective because the junior youth would think that books are for school, but then with time, I realized that the book gives the program a purpose. An example of this is that we had a junior youth that went up to his teacher and told him about the junior youth program. And then he said that he's reading the book called Breezes of Confirmation. And the teacher asked, what does confirmation mean? And the junior youth replied, when we want to do something, we make an effort and God confirms us. I was really inspired and liked the junior youth program. When we planned the first service project, I realized how much potential the junior youth had in serving the community. When I finished reading the book of Saint, when I was in a club of poems, and they had the age of 12, 15, 12, 13 years old, I opened a group for young people. At the beginning, it was very difficult. Il n'y avait pas la collaboration entre eux. Peut-être que vous pouvez faire des questions qui doivent vous répondre vrai ou faux. Taïre qui dit vrai, Vaïd qui dit non. Pourquoi non Parce que Taïre dit vrai. En fait, c'était très difficile. Alors un jour, je me suis fâchée. Je les ai chassés tous. Alors, je suis rentrée chez nous. Je dis, mais c'est question d'enfant. J'ai prié Dieu. Et je ne sais pas comment ça s'est arrangé, ça c'était un miracle. Mais aujourd'hui, c'est vraiment un club, il y a l'amitié, c'est tout ce que moi j'ai appris. Eux, il faut juste être leur ami. Il faut que eux sachent que vous êtes leur confidence. Quoi qu'ils fassent, ils savent que j'ai quand même quelqu'un qui doit m'entendre. We really wanted to serve the Aboriginal community. Eventually, we established a very close relationship with two of the families. And that multiplied as we were introduced to their families and their friends that lived in the building and within the neighborhood. So it's been a year and a half. And since we began this, there's about 20 families that we are involved with, with over at least over 100 people that we are interacting with, uh, all based on these core activities. It's a community that's now based on service, that's based on the activities of children and junior youth. Uh, we went to talk to one of the junior youth and her mother. We explained the scope and the purpose of the program. And the mother told us that she was so happy with the growth in her daughter that she sees now that not only is her daughter able to stand up at school when she's bullied, but she stands up for other children as well. So with her support, the mother's support, the following week there were 10 young girls coming to the group. And since then, every week there are more and more that are coming because they are inviting their friends. They're so eager. Um, the girls come to our house sometimes, actually, we came home on, on Wednesday, school gets out at 1.40 for them, and we came home around 3 o'clock, the group starts at 4, and we found a group of six girls sitting in the hallway of our apartment building. How they got in, we don't know, <laughs> but they had been waiting there since 1.45, waiting for this group to happen. They were so excited. So being a part of this, this new neighborhood, this new creation that's focused on service is, is truly a blessing. Beaucoup de petits qui ont des capacités et des potentiels. Si on les laisse seulement comme ça, ils vont s'embarquer dans tout ce euh, monde matériel. C'est pour ça qu'on a aussi engagé mon société de former un groupe de jeunes. Dans le groupement, on avait 
moins des goûts de préjugés. Ça fait en sorte que, avec cet enthousiasme à la fin de formation, on a pu se créer 22 groupes de très jeunes jusqu'à aujourd'hui et une participation 1200. On the last day of the conferences, participants gathered in workshops to evaluate the needs of their localities. They consulted about the actions required to intensify and multiply their efforts to contribute to the development of their communities. They discussed how to meet the pressing issues of providing spiritual education for children. They consulted about how to channel the energies of junior youth and empower them to contribute to the well-being of society. They made plans to create more gatherings for collective worship and explored how to increase the capacity of every individual through the sequence of institute courses to serve their communities. They took time to reflect. How could they contribute individually to this process? They were eager and determined to serve the needs of society and pledged to sacrifice their time and resources. Seventy-nine friends have pledged to help other friends strengthen their core activities or start them or accompany them. 135 amigos se levantaram para abrir reuniões devocionais. 33 livros 5, 53 livros 4 e 143 livros 1. The children at the conference have decided the first activity we can help in is devotional meetings. We have pledged to have 56 devotional meetings. 52 new classes. Çocuk sınıflarına yardım etmek 10 kişi. Yeni gençlik grubu oluşturmaya yardım etmek 5 kişi. 34 vogliono in futuro aprire delle classi per bambini. E 60 giovanissimi partecipano a un gruppo giovanissimi. Once we go back, 10 new study circles will start. Así que tenemos la esperanza de tener Thousands in total committed to complete the next book in the sequence of courses. Tens of thousands pledged to initiate devotional gatherings, home visits, children's classes, junior youth groups, and study circles. Thousands offered to travel to other communities to be of service, and thousands more decided to move their home to another place altogether in order to assist with the process there. The 41 conferences encourage the participants to focus systematic attention on 1,500 clusters of localities where intensive programs of growth are being established. Programs which better equip Baha'i communities to respond to the spiritual and material needs of society. The participants discussed how to further systematize their efforts to share the message of Baha'u'llah with their families, friends, neighbors and others, offering to ever-growing numbers of people the opportunity to work together to build a new world. The conferences demonstrated that as the Baha'i community expands and grows, its activities multiply and strengthen, creating a rich and vibrant pattern of life that reflects the teachings of Baha'u'llah. These activities, which welcome and embrace all people, provide a coherent approach to consolidating the Baha'i community, benefit the wider society, and ultimately contribute to the advancement of civilization. Through the exchange of learning and the increased understanding that was generated, these extraordinary gatherings gave a significant impetus to the advancement of the work in the 1,500 clusters around the world. To be 
present at this regional conference called by the Universal House of Justice will be something we never forget. En tout cas, je ne sais pas comment exprimer quoi, ma joie, mais je vois déjà un grand travail devant moi qui m'attend en tant que bail. La conférence a créé un esprit différent en tous les participants, sinon aussi pour savoir que maintenant nous sommes travaillant comme région pour atteindre une plus grande mission. Je suis sûre que 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 je suis sûre. Maintenant, elle est 100% sûre que l'unité dans le monde va devenir la réalité. Je suis très heureuse que je suis sûre que je suis sûre que je suis sûre que je suis sûre times 40, what we have felt this weekend, we begin to have the smallest idea of what is transpiring around the world for these entire four months. Each of us has only one life on this earthly planet to be able to give our very best to the blessed beauty and to the beloved house of justice during these fleeting years that we are here is truly the desire in each of our hearts. We were called and we answered. We came and we arose to serve. 